Is it true? Was it Butch and Sundance? <clears throat> I'll handle this, gentlemen. <sighs> Indeed, the robbery was the work of Butch and Sundance. The manager confirmed as much, and I observed them with my own eyes yet again. Did they shoot at you, Mr. Masterson? Hmm. Shots were fired, but true to their reputation, they weren't out to harm anyone, nor I them. Fortunately, I intervened before they got to the safe. So, you can tell the fine citizens of Toronto that Bat Masterson saved their money. <laughs> <laughs> What's next, Mr. Masterson? Any leads? Inspector, rest assured, me and the boys of Station 4 will bring them to justice. It's only a matter of time. Inspector Brackenreed, what's it like working alongside a legendary lawman? Now, now, now. This isn't about Bat Masterson. This is about reining in two outlaws. Now, I'll make myself available to you find folks as needed, <clears throat> and uh, I'll continue to file my updates with the New York Telegraph. Thank you. Mr. Masterson, thank you, gentlemen. That's all for today. No more questions. Thank you. Gentlemen, I was under the impression you were coppers. Where are your guns? We don't carry guns. North of the border, we rely on our wits. Oh, that lot of good your wits just did us. Hmm. Your approach wasn't especially effective either. Fact of the matter is Sundance and Butcher on the loose. Bat knows them better than we do, Murdoch. He'll take the lead. Very well. So where should we start, Bat? Mm. Take me to the most reputable house of ill repute in town. <laughs> 